everybody in this class we are going to study about neutralization reaction first of all i would like to tell you for 10th class students who are writing examination this question has been asked for 14 times since 1991 so we can sense the importance of this question on the day of experiment let us perform an activity then write a definition for this neutralization reaction on the day of experiment Try to take a test tube and try to add 2 ml of NaOH. NaOH is nothing but sodium hydroxide, which is a base. And try to try to add phenolphthalein indicator. When you add phenolphthalein indicator, I already told you in the previous classes, if the phenolphthalein indicator is added to a base, it turns into pink color. In the initial stage, it turns into pink color. Then try to try to add few drops of HCl, dilute HCl. Whenever you are adding few drops of dilute HCl, hydrochloric acid, then it turns into colorless. We know that for an any acid, if phenolphthalein indicator is added, it will turns into colorless. Hence, the entire solution in the test tube turns into colorless. What we did here, you know, in the first step we have taken a test tube. We have added 2 ml of NaOH and to this NaOH we added phenolphthalein indicator. Whenever we added phenolphthalein indicator, it turns into pink color. We already know that for, a, for any base, if phenolphthalein indicator is added, it turns into pink color. After that, we have added dilute HCl. When we added dilute HCl, it again turns into colorless. And again to this solution, if again we add NaOH, it again turns into pink color. So, what we say about the neutralization reaction is, it's a reaction between acid and base. Acid and base are reactants. When acid reacts with base, as a result, salt and water are formed. This kind of reaction is called neutralization reaction. If we want to define a strong acid, the acid in which more number of H plus ions are released, then it is called, then it is called a strong acid. The base in which more number of OH minus ions are released, then it is called a strong base. Let me show you the reaction very clearly. When NaOH, sodium hydroxide, reacts with dilute HCl, hydrochloric acid, then NaCl is formed along with the H2O. NaCl is salt and H2O is water. And NaOH is a base and HCl is a acid. So, Hence, this is the best example of neutralization reaction. When you are attempting this question, the first you have to write the definition. The definition is, acid reacts with base, as a result, salt and water are formed. This type of reaction is called neutralization reaction. Then you have to keep cited in aim, aim to prove neutralization reaction. And apparatus, what are the apparatus we require? We require test tube, we require phenolphthalein indicator, then we required NaOH, then hydro, hydrochloric acid. Then try to take a test tube, try to add 2 ml of hydrochloric acid to the, sorry, try to add 2 ml of sodium hydroxide to the, try to add phenolphthalein indicator. When the phenolphthalein indicator is added to sodium hydroxide, it turns into pink color. Then try to add dilute HCl. When you add dilute HCl, it turns into colorless. And again, if you add NaOH, it again turns into pink color. So, in the, this type of reaction is called neutralization reaction. In the neutralization reaction, acid reacts with base. As a result, salt and water are formed. Acid and base are reactants. Salt and water are products. Thank you.